In this short video, I'd like to demonstrate how to create an overlay lighten layer and a soft light darken layer to get the best results each one of these blending modes has to offer when dodging and burning. This is also a great way to keep your dodging adjustments and burning adjustments separated for better fine control. I'll be using this image from the California Redwoods that has some soft, balanced, and low contrast lighting. Some subtle highlights and shadows already exist in the image and I want to enhance them a bit. I'll begin by creating separate 50% gray dodge and burn layers. There are many ways to create new layers in Photoshop. For this example, I'll simply hold down the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac and click on the new layer icon. This brings up the new layer dialog. I can name the layer Dodge and set the blending mode to overlay. And then I'll check the box to fill with overlay neutral color 50% gray and say OK. And here's the new dodge layer. Now to create the burn layer I'll do the same thing. I'll hold down the Alt or the Option key on a Mac, click the new layer icon, call this layer burn, set the blending mode to soft light and again check the 50% gray box and say OK. The 50% gray color becomes transparent when blended in the overlay and soft light blending modes. That's why even though I have gray layers here, we don't see the gray layers at all. They're completely transparent in the blending modes. By painting lighter than 50% gray on either of these layers, we will lighten the image below. And painting darker than 50% gray on either of these layers will darken the image below. Now that I've created both the burn layer and the dodge layer, I'll hold down the shift key and click on both the burn and the dodge layers to highlight them and then while still holding down the shift key I'll click on the new group icon to add them both to a group. You can see there they are inside this group. So that just organizes them and contains them and allows me to control the two layers either individually or together as a group and I can also call this group dodge burn. I'll start by demonstrating lightening or dodging by painting with a white brush on the dodge layer. I'll make sure that I have my brush tool selected and the foreground color is set to white. And for this example, I think an opacity of 40% will probably work okay. I will select the dodge gray layer and let's see if we can dodge some of these highlights I see in the trunks of these trees. So I can just make a painting pass on that tree and also on this tree and lighten the tree. And if we turn that layer on and off we can see the effect that that dodging or lightening has had. Now like I said this dodge layer is in the overlay blending mode because I find that I most frequently like the effect that the overlay blending mode gives me when I lighten. It allows me to lighten with good contrast. If I switch the blending mode of that layer to soft light, you can see that that lightning is happening with much less contrast in a way that in this case I don't like as much. So I like the overlay method better. You may find situations in which you like to lighten with less contrast and in that case you would want to paint with white on a gray layer in the soft light mode. But for me most cases I like lightning in the overlay mode. This is also very good for lightening darker or more shadowed areas of the image. For example, if I want to lighten the darker areas of this bark, the overlay mode will again lighten with good contrast and the same thing if I want to lighten perhaps back in that tree root or perhaps in this shadowed area underneath the fern. So you can see there's the effect that that lightning is having, lightning with good contrast. By comparison, if I go to the soft light mode, we can see that that lightning in those same areas is creating a very uh, kind of flattened, dulled sort of look. Okay, so we've done some good dodging or lightning. Now let's move on to the burn layer. The burn layer is set to the soft light mode, and now I want to, instead of paint with a white brush, I want to paint with a black brush. I'm going to start by uh, painting at 
30% opacity. And I want to darken some of this area in the foreground that you can see has a slight shadow. And I really want to just enhance that shadow a little bit more. So I'll make a pass across this front area of the image to darken it. And just kind of follow the line of where that natural shadow was already going. Now I may not be doing a very good job of burning that, but I mostly just want to demonstrate what we're doing here. So you can see the burning that we're doing, and again the burning in the soft light mode is providing a nice even burning, it's allowing some of the highlights to remain so we have good contrast, and it's not over darkening the darkest shadows. By comparison, if I change to the overlay blending mode, you can see that that burning now has a much harsher and uh, not as pleasing effect. So let's go back to soft light. I might also want to do some burning in the depths of the forest back here. It was already somewhat dark and I may want to darken that down a bit and create even more kind of a mysterious dark deep forest effect. Again, in the soft light mode we're maintaining some good highlights in the trees and we're not over darkening the shadows. But if we go to the overlay mode, we can see that the darkening becomes kind of flat and a little over aggressive. So back to the soft light mode. In that way, we are burning with good effects. We're dodging on a separate layer in a different blending mode with good effects. And we can control both of those layers separately. I can work with the opacity of each layer separately. Uh, I can also add a mask to each layer separately if I further want to mask the effect in or out. And because I placed both of them in this group, I can also turn off the effect of both layers simultaneously just by clicking the eye of that group. I can also turn down the opacity of both layers simultaneously. And I can even add a mask to the entire group if I want to do some masking of both the burn and dodge layers at the same time. So that is a very powerful method for dodging and burning and getting the best results out of both the overlay and soft light blending modes using that 50% gray blended layer technique. Hope you find that helpful and can use it in your images to creatively get them to where you want them to go.